Hey guys, Joshua Godamu here with another Gundam MSI review, and today I'm reviewing Johnny Ryan's High Mobility Gilgoog, the extended version. Um, there was a version 1 of this figure, but the extended is a lot easier to get, and very cool. What does it come with? What does it come with? It comes with two types of beam saber blades, two straight ones, which uh, can pop in this weapon right here, and also two curved ones to make the beam Nagita. And uh, so that's pretty cool. Comes with a ton of hands, two closed fists, two of these gun hands, two of its beam rifle hands, because the beam rifle has extra large thing right there, extra finger kind of area. Only downside about the uh, extended Johnny Ryan Gelgoog uh, figure it's not really the figure, but the beam rifle tends to break right here. It just wasn't made out of a durable enough plastic. And uh, you might reinforce that with some super glue just to try and buy it some, some extra strength. As long as you're uh, gentle with it, it should be okay. But um, it's, you know, it. if you're going to play with it, give it a version 1 beam rifle. You'll thank me later. Comes with this open hand right here, two of these. Two of these melee hands, which can uh, hold this weapon quite nicely. And uh, another one of these trigger fingers that's on him. Two of those. Two closed fists, in case I didn't say that. Comes with this awesome shield. Absolutely awesome. Cool handle there. This plugs into the back. Only uh, with Johnny Ryden, that's a little harder, so looks like... Nope. This will not actually pop into the back unless you remove his high mobility backpack. And now I will showcase it. It's a little harder to do because it has a joint. It's a little harder to do than the uh, version 1. Version 1 just kind of sat there and let you do it. This one ends every which way. That's well, pretty hard to do. I'm not going to bother with it right now. But uh, it could if you were persistent. But why would you do that when you could just stick the high mobility backpack on it? I mean, seriously. Why would you put the shield back there? That's silly. This uh, small version of the bazooka is actually pretty cool. This ammo clip comes off, which is very nice. It's a very tough looking weapon. There we go. Has a hand right there, or a handle right there. Can turn so he can hold it however he needs to. Like I said, the ammo clip comes out. And uh, it's like a short bazooka. You can see it's very similar to the Zaku 2 bazooka. Hands pop off so he can hold his gun. Like I said, this uh, particular gun is uh, very brittle, especially at that one spot. And so, if you're going to be playing with this, I recommend using the version 1. It's a little hard to get the hands on. It takes some real effort. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It means they stay on. So you saw the try and get it on there earlier and it didn't work very well. These can come off and be replaced by a uh, weaponry that uh, comes with the Gilgu cannon if you so choose. It's got a 010 here and a 010 here. Xeon symbol. Let's see, it looks very tough. These pop out, see? The head also has a moving mono eye. I'm going to pop it off so maybe Maybe you can see it, which I highly doubt. But just in case, the mono eye does move, but not as much as the Zaku. And it's hard to notice because the uh, the visor slit is a lot smaller. But yeah, the eye does move because there's a little lever back there. So articulation bends um, at the elbow. It's double jointed. Arms are crazy. Crazy flexible. Spins up there. Hand spin. 
spin 360 degrees at the waist. This is a joint. This is a joint. The neck is double jointed as well. The knee is double jointed. Legs go that far back, that far forwards. Knee joint, foot joint, all kinds of boosters all over the place. They move quite a bit too. Not these ones, but uh, these ones actually. Sorry, these ones actually have some articulation. And he is just a very, very cool figure. If you can find one, I recommend you get it. Johnny Ryan was uh, an ace pilot for Xeon and very, very cool. So if you're looking for this figure or others, make sure to check out our store, Gundams R Us, your favorite arms dealer. There's a link down below in the more info area. And uh, we get new stuff all the time, even Japanese figures from time to time. Hope you enjoyed the review. Catch you guys later.